What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Blu-ray Bandit, back once again with another Pawn Shop haul video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your best shot at a free digital code. Let's see what I can find. Welcome back. I hit three pawn shops. Let's see what I found. First up, this is a La Familia. I paid $10.01 for six titles. That brings them out to $1.66 each. Grand Hotel. This is a classic movie. I don't remember from what era. I think it was the 30s, possibly. Yes, 30s. 1931, roughly. Uh, the only reason I know that is because it says right here that it's the Academy Award winner for Best Picture in 1931 slash 32. If you've been following this channel, you know that I've been kind of slowly, low-key collecting all of the Academy Award winning Best Pictures on Blu-ray. Not even sure if all of them are available on Blu-ray, but if they are, I will eventually have them. This one stars Greta Garbo, John Barrymore, and Joan Crawford, amongst others. Looks like there's another Barrymore in this movie. Lionel Barrymore. Not sure if those Barrymores are related to Drew Barrymore, but I know she does have Hollywood history roots, so no idea what this movie is about. Don't know if it's a musical or just a straight drama. Not particularly in love with most movies that I've never heard of from this era. Even some of the best picture winners from this era have not necessarily been my taste. But regardless, it's a best picture winner. I had to own it. Next up, The Cell. This is a Tarsum Singh movie. He's definitely a visualist director. It stars Jennifer Lopez and Vince Vaughn and Vincent D'Onofrio. It's kind of about a woman who wakes up and finds herself inside kind of a glass cell. It's a little bit of a horror movie. If you like movies like Silence of the Lambs, you'll probably enjoy this one as well, except this is just kind of like the visually whacked version of movies like Silence of the Lambs. It's kind of half horror, half art house. This scanned at $6 on eBay, but I'm not reselling it. I'm keeping it. Another keeper. This is Overboard starring Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, a classic 80s comedy. I have three sisters and this movie was on repeat in my household when I was a kid. As a result, I just kind of absorbed Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, both in this movie and in other movies. And I generally enjoy seeing them in roles from this era. I mean, I enjoy both of them today as well, although you rarely get to see Goldie Hawn in movies. Kurt Russell shows up in some fun genre films these days. But Goldie Hawn, you just don't see her. I'm not quite sure why. This movie hasn't aged well from like a politically correctness viewpoint, but I think it's still fairly harmless especially when put in the context of the time. I mean, it's a fantasy film, right? It maybe isn't presented that way as strongly as you'd hope, but overall, I think it's still generally harmless, and I'm excited to add it to the collection. Last one for this store, this is the Matrix Trilogy, a trilogy set that I already own on Blu-ray. I bought this for the purposes of reselling it. It's worth about $8 on eBay, and I'm going to sell it to help pay for some of the titles I'd rather keep. Next pawn shop. This was a Cash America. I spent $10.65 on six titles, bringing the per title average to $1.75. Star Trek Nemesis. This is the last of the Star Trek movies that I don't have on Blu-ray yet. And now I do. The problem is I have them all as individual titles like this, and they take up a lot of space. And I know there's collections out there that puts like all of the Star Trek movies, both the originals and Next Generation, all in one nice, tidy little collection. I'm probably going to have to move to that at some point because I like my shelf space. This is a title I see in pawn shops often and just resisted picking it up until I could find it at the right price. And at $1.75, that did the trick. Life, a sci-fi movie starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Rebecca Ferguson, and Ryan Reynolds. I've actually only seen this once in the movie theater, and I'm looking forward to watching it again. I remember when it first came out, there were rumors it was kind of a backdoor Venom prequel. I think in the end, that's doubtful, because I think at this point, they would definitely trumpet that if it was true. It probably would have done better. Well, 
with digital code. Yeah, it probably would have done better at the box office had they leaned into it being a low-key Venom prequel. But if you watch it with that in mind, I vaguely remember enjoying that aspect of it. I mean, the movie in general, but had it been given an element like being a Venom prequel, it probably would have elevated it. I'm going to give it a rewatch and then maybe resell it on eBay. It sells for roughly $6 or so. For now, though, adding it to the shelf until I get a chance at that rewatch. Paddington 2. If you have not seen the Paddington movies, specifically Paddington 2, then what are you doing with your life? I don't care if you're an adult. I don't care if you're six years old. I don't care if you're 65 years old. You should watch Paddington 2. It's such a charming movie. I don't really care about Paddington in the big picture as a character. I vaguely remember knowing about whoop, with digital code. Yeah, I vaguely remember knowing about Paddington when I was a kid, but it was never something that particularly drew me in. But the movies in particular, Paddington 2 are so charming. It's kind of like what if Wes Anderson made a kid's film and dropped all the pretension in the process and instead just kind of leaned into being as endearing as possible. If you need just a happy movie to put in your player. Something to pick you up and just give you a sense of lightness. I mean, Paddington 2 is the movie. I would have paid much more than $1.75 for this. This movie resales for $7 on eBay. It's a steal at that price and an absolute robbery at $1.75 added to the collection. More kids movies. These I don't love as much for sure. Not adding this to the collection. This is for resale. Going rate on eBay is roughly six or seven dollars for this two pack of Happy Feet and Happy Feet 2. I've never actually seen Happy Feet 2, and I do remember enjoying Happy Feet. I saw it when my son was younger with him. As kids movies go, it's not bad. I'm just not sure there was enough for me as an adult to fully enjoy Happy Feet. I think there's like a surfing angle to these movies. If memory serves, or maybe that's another movie. I don't remember. It's been quite a while since I've seen Happy Feet, but I bought it to resell it. It's going on eBay. Last one for this pawn shop. It is Van Damme Kickboxer, an action classic that I did not have in my collection. This scanned at $7 on eBay. Not sure if I'm going to give it a nostalgia watch first and then sell it, but it's not necessarily a movie I have to have at my fingertips at all times. Nor do I think it's a movie that kind of like represents me. (laughs) But I do remember seeing it multiple times as a kid. I'm going to keep it for the time being until I get that nostalgia watch in. But ultimately, reselling. Last pawn shop for this haul. This was another La Familia. I paid $10.65 for six titles, bringing them to $1.77 each. The Goldfinch. Starring Ansel Elgort and Nicole Kidman, amongst others. I know very little about this movie. (laughs) I remember there being quite a bit of hype before it came out that this could be a potential Oscar contender. But then it kind of was released and nobody talked about it. But it's a fairly new title. I think it came out in 2019 or so. It's scanned at $6 on eBay. I'm going to give it a watch and if I enjoy it, I'll keep it. But the chances are good I'm going to resell this or three times what I paid for it, and put that money towards other titles I'd rather keep. Rough Night, another movie I have not seen, although I have heard people talk favorably about this one. It's a female-led gross-out comedy, from what I understand. Again, I haven't seen it. It didn't scan particularly high on eBay, roughly $3. So if I don't enjoy it, I'm pretty much stuck with it. But at $1.77, it felt like a decent roll of the dice. This is the rougher morning edition. Not quite sure what that means. Not sure when I'll get around to this one either, but I will eventually. This is the two film collection of The Perfect Storm and Three Kings. Two movies that I enjoy. Not quite sure why they're here collected together other than just sharing a release studio in Warner Brothers. This is a collection I already own. I bought it to resell it to help pay for some of the other titles in this haul. So I'm going to resell this one. It's scanned at about $7 on eBay. So it'll pay for itself and two other titles plus within this haul. Antebellum. This is a fairly new title. This came out in early 2020. So it's about a year and a half since its release in theaters. 
It got kind of lost in the theater shuffle thanks to the pandemic. That and it's definitely had a mixed reaction. I have seen it already and I enjoyed it. It's a tough movie to watch, I would say. It definitely attempts to share DNA with movies like Get Out and Us. It has a little bit of a racial angle to it, but it's also a horror movie. If you can't handle brutal depictions of slavery, this movie definitely has that in the first half an hour. I mean, it has it throughout the entire movie, but the first half an hour is particularly intense. Then the movie gives you a little break, and then the back half of the movie is, spoiler alert, a lot of hard-earned redemption. I enjoyed it, but others were definitely offended by it. So your mileage may vary. It scanned at $6 on eBay, but I am not going to resell this. I'm going to add it to the collection, at least until I can get in a rewatch. And finally, this is Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This is an out of print title, a Kevin Smith movie from the early 2000s. A comedy I enjoy, but it's definitely an acquired taste. If you like Kevin Smith movies, you've already seen this and you probably love it. If you know of Kevin Smith and don't enjoy him and you haven't seen this, I suggest you don't. It is pure Kevin Smith for sure. It's him with all of his tricks. This is the original late aughts release of this disc, which is why it is out of print. It scanned at $25 on eBay. I'm going to be reselling it because I already have this movie in a three pack. I don't really care about having old out of print titles unless it's my only opportunity to own the film in question. So I'm going to resell this on eBay, get between roughly $20 to $25, and nearly pay off a good two-thirds of this entire pawn shop haul. Thanks, Jay and Silent Bob. All right, 18 titles, total of $31.31, with an average per title price of $1.73 each. Total estimated value for this pawn shop haul $98. $98. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your best shot at a free digital code. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye.